Hi, my name is Ashley Storby, field agronomist with Pioneer in Southern Minnesota, here today to visit with you about planting corn following an anhydrous ammonia application. This season so far, we have been faced with the consequences that first began last fall when we were unable to complete some of our intended tillage and much of our intended anhydrous ammonia applications. With that, we have a greater amount of anhydrous going on this spring than a typical year, so we've been faced with the question, how quickly can we plant corn following that anhydrous application? A perfect answer to that, the general rule of thumb is to wait five to seven days following your anhydrous application to prevent seedling injury. First thing to think about is how deep we can inject that anhydrous into the soil. Ideally seven to ten inches. That puts that, that zone of dispersal um, from that injection site further away from our germinating seedling. So when we think about the anhydrous application, once that anhydrous is in the ground, that zone of dispersal is about two and a half to three inches on either side of where that anhydrous is first placed. Um, that can be further in a coarser or a drier soil, but in general we would figure that cylinder of anhydrous to be about five and a half, six inches in diameter. By placing that deeper into the ground we can prevent our germinating seedling from interacting with that ammonia uh, prior to it being able to convert into the nitrate form which is safe to our plants. Something else to think about if you have RTK on the planter and are able to plant adjacent to that injection row, if you can plant five inches on either side of that row, um, then you've also moved your germinating seedling away from potential injury. If you don't have RTK, there's, there's, another, there's another option for you. Um, you can consider making your anhydrous application such that when you do plant your corn, you're going to be going adjacent to those rows and and that way if you do have injury you have that um, not on a whole row but interdispersed within the row. Ideally though you would plant adjacent to the row five inches uh, consistently throughout the whole field. Another option to consider is to reduce this rate of your anhydrous application pre-plant and increase your side dressing rate later in the year to make up for it. Reach out to your local Pioneer sales rep for more information. Thank you and be safe. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.